Typhoon Krathen made landfall Thursday in the major port city of Kaohsiung, bringing torrential rains and fierce winds to southern and southeastern parts of Taiwan, according to weather authorities. Krathen made landfall in the industrial Siagang district of Kaohsiung around 12.40 p.m., the Central Weather Administration said. The typhoon packed maximum sustained winds of 126 km per hour near its center, with gusts of 162 km per hour. The typhoon is forecast to move slowly north and weaken into a tropical depression by Friday before it reaches the capital, Taipei. Kaohsiung earlier urged its residents to take cover from potentially disastrous winds. The slow-moving typhoon, which has been inching toward Taiwan at a speed of about 4 km per hour, doused eastern and southern parts of the island over the past five days, forcing thousands to evacuate from mountainous or low-lying areas. Schools and government offices have been shut around the island for two days, and all domestic flights have been cancelled. Gusts and heavy rains pelted the empty streets. Many residents woke up Thursday to mobile phone alerts urging them to take shelter from the potentially dangerous winds. The Weather Administration posted a Facebook message warning Kaohsiung and Pingdong County residents to not go outside when the eye of the storm passes above their area and the weather calms briefly, because the winds and storms will pick up again afterward. Cadaver dogs and search crews trudged through knee-deep muck and debris in the mountains of western North Carolina on Tuesday looking for more victims of Hurricane Helene days after the storm carved a deadly and destructive path through the southeast. In Swananoa, a small community outside Asheville, receding floodwaters revealed cars stacked on top of others and trailer homes that had floated away during the storm. 
Roads were caked with mud and debris and pockmarked by sinkholes.